Hey, up next on the Marmy Rock Show, we're excited to have Falling Through April back on the show. We've got Michaela with us today. They've got a new album out called Zodiac, and we've added their single Seven Tries to our Golden Dozen. So, Michaela, welcome back to the show. Hi, thank you. So, um, lots going on to talk about with you. Um, and before we get into talking about the album and uh, the tour you got going on, a lot of that good stuff, for folks that um, maybe didn't catch my last interview with you, you've been with uh, Falling Through April for about two years now, I think. So, tell folks a little bit about yeah. your entry into the band and how that all went down. Um, I got super lucky. I guess we're still looking at it now. It's kind of fate. Um, I found them online searching for a committed band. And um, I went to a town I'm like an hour and a half away from where I'm currently at. So I was thinking to myself, though, you know, it's worth the ride for the talent. And so we've been working together immediately um, with the album. And then after the album came the music video for Desperate Measures. And just recently we wrapped up our music video for Seven Tries. Definitely got to check that out. AP Magazine once again premiered it for us. So that was super special. So the link is on their page if you're curious. It's a totally different vibe from what Dutch Measures was. Uh, a, lot, a lot of fun to um, film, for sure. So, yeah, that's a little bit about your entry in there. Now, um, let's talk. Uh, let's start talking about the album first. Uh, tell me about where Zodiac was recorded and who your producers were. Mm-hmm. We, um, we drove to Nashville, Tennessee, to meet with Mr. King, John King. Um, he has an in-home studio. Um, he's great with our style of music, so we kind of just, we worked together. He co-wrote some of the songs with us, um, and yeah, he's behind, behind Zodiac. So um, the the single Seven Tries is out now, and I mentioned we added that to our Golden Dozen. That's our music chart. So tell us a little bit about what awesome. that tune's about. What Seven Tries? Is yeah, about? tell tell us what really? the tune's about. Mm-hmm. Um, I was inspired by this song. Looking back at relationships, you know, you kind of like trial and error. You learn a lot though every flip up, get back up, and so Seven Tries is just about, you know, kind of forgiving and moving on, and for people that, you know, you love, and um, that's what it focuses on, just giving somebody, you know, another chance, maybe seven's your limit. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a music video to that, tell us a little bit about the music, I mean, we want people to go see it, but give them a little bit of a teaser about what the music video is about. And, oh, uh... my goodness, it was, <laughs> so it's really awesome, so it's like, you're cramping in six different dates, because... Um, it was kind of telling the story of two, you know, getting to know each other and then, like, being in a relationship and kind of, like, so I first off, you know, um, our first encounter doesn't go well. I get, like, white girl wasted. It's just a mess. I'm a hot mess. He wants to do with that. Well, we still, like, you know, meet up later on and, like, try and have, like, a little picnic in the park. Uh, things get sour, too. Things get ruined. But you know what? These little things happen, and we just keep, like, we get back up, and together we just, like, you know, you look at the best things in life. And so then I had a favorite. I made him dinner. Um, and it was really fun filming because I'm kind of like a pyro deep down, and so we, we got to lit that macaroni, light that macaroni on fire, and uh, so <laughs> it was pretty risky because um, um, in Jim's apartment it kind of got messy, but <laughs> still a lot of fun. So a lot of chaos in this one. Now, where was that venue at? It looked like you were in some kind of a distillery or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really awesome. We got to film um, in one of the private rooms at the Catawba Brewery. Over in Charlotte, so that was really neat because, you know, we're all local, like, IPA beer fanatics, so <laughs> we had a little taste during that. Now, in the video, there's a scene where you're uh, down in a couple drinks real quick. How many takes did you have to do to that, and were, were they real, and were you able to walk after? <laughs> no, yeah, no, right? I can handle that, but no, they were safe. There's some fruity mixes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, tell us about the, the, now the video obviously features you the, the male interest in that video that does not look like a band member is that, a, is that an actor or is it oh um, it's a friend of a friend now, now the, that thing looks, it looks so normal I, I mean I don't want to invade your personal life but you guys like just were like natural there and look like you fit together <laughs> it's not funny yeah I mean we had um, it was really easy to get along with and I feel like we had some chemistry uh, chemistry so it was easy you know, to kind of Pretend we were in love. <laughs> <laughs> well, it came out great. I was like, nice fit, guys. I don't mind this at all. <laughs> <laughs> now, that tune to me, it, it has a slightly different vibe stylistically than the other tunes on the record. Is it a little bit different style than, the, than your norm? I would say so. This is actually more of like a lean to country pop. Yeah. Um, and so, but we, yeah, with the video, we want it to be like, you know, lighter and bubbly and 
way more fun because it has, has a totally different vibe from many of our heavier tracks on Zodiac. So the the record Zodiac seems to have like some Zodiac signs on the cover. I'm not in, too into that stuff to know, so I need you to explain. Did you pick specific Zodiac signs for the record for a reason? Mm, kind of. I mean, it's the two that fall in April, um, and so we thought it'd be perfect because while we were you know recording and writing the song, um, it was almost like it was a little joke we had. We had like an identity crisis, you know, or like what what genre are we leaning towards and. Part of it was just like, you know what, there's just so many like different sides of each member that we just put like everything we wanted to hear into this album. So we felt that the two signs clashing was the perfect representation of the process. Now, for folks that um, want to come see you live, you're out on a tour right now, and it's an exciting tour for you guys, I'm sure. I'll let you tell folks kind of who you're touring with in some of the big shows. Oh, yeah, I couldn't be more excited. We're actually in the middle of um, Ottawa, Canada right now, because we have a show tomorrow with Theory of a Dead Man. Um, wonderful people, the whole crew, just the band, the best tour I could have like, wanted for my first time around, you know? And Canada is just lovely, loving the culture and the vibes here, so we're actually roaming around right now, it's getting kind of lost. Tell, <laughs> tell me a little bit about how it's going so far, because the first shot I think I saw, if that was from this tour, you had a nice sized crowd. Yes, yeah, you know, Theory have a lot of, they're um, from Canada, so all true music lovers here, um, so they're very supportive, and we've um, been on shows with them that have been sold out, so that was, I think, like 1,200. Wow. Good for you guys. Congratulations on that. That's Good. awesome to hear. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, throwing the word. I love it. So let's learn a little bit about your singing history. Um, you, are you formally trained as a singer, or is it something that came natural to you? It came naturally. I kind of, I would kind of like train myself in my room privately, listening to my favorite artists and just try and like not but necessarily imitate, but find their style and kind of make it my own. Um, but yeah, no, it's all natural. I had a few pointers here and there, but I would love to have some lessons. But no, for the most part, it's natural. That was the next thing I was going to ask you. So, like a lot of people, your when you get to your level of you know as, as advanced as you guys are, start taking on a vocal coach. But you've never done that. Huh? It's all just been you. Yes, that's correct. Maybe you should start being a vocal coach. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> right? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like going, learning as I go. <laughs> you have breakthroughs every show, too. You know, you find something uh, different uh, of yourself that you can do what you're capable of. And so it's been an awesome, awesome ride. So let's talk a little bit more about the touring experience. Um, what, it, what has been the thing that surprised you most about going out on tour with Theory? <laughs> oh wow! I would, I would say be re- I've learned to be ready for anything, any kind of hiccups, any kind of like thing that's going to slow you down. Um, as smooth as it has been, and a com- like these people are such, they're very um, hospitable and just accommodating to us and our needs. So that's been really, really sweet. But still, there's always something. Whether it goes like the sound or a cord goes out or something, you know, something happens. So it's just been uh, keeping us on our toes. I'm not proud of it. I wouldn't keep a surprise, but it's a daily thing, so it's, it's exciting. And what was but, you know, it's really awesome because it's like a team bonding experience. You know, like the crew I have, FTA, all the boys, they are just like, I couldn't do this without them. So, so those are some of the, things, the surprising things. Is What's been your favorite thing about the, the touring aspect of, of being in a band so far? Traveling. Oh, for sure. Being... Every city, different sides of it, the people, the culture. It's been really neat. So when when you're done playing a show and you're back there at your merch booth, is there any one question that you're kind of tired of that you can warn people? You can just get it out of the way right now on my show, <laughs> and you can say, okay, every, huh. we've officially answered it now, and nobody else needs to ask me again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Not yet. Not hmm, my thing. It's been... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, a question we get every time, we can even, like, answer it before they even open their mouth and look at us, is they always ask, um, you know, how to come up the name. So, if anyone is curious, it's because the first lead singer, um, his birthday is through April, and it so happens that mine does as well. So, uh, fate? Much? Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, that's, that's one I try not to ask too often in interviews anymore. But uh, yeah, I'm sure that is one that you guys get a lot. I was gonna guess that you, I was gonna guess what you were gonna say was something related to being a female fronted band. All right, we should get those questions. We shoot them down. I'm just one of the dudes. <laughs> well listen uh, I've had a good time talking to you Michaela the, ba- the band is falling through April and the album is Zodiac once again go out there and check out the uh, tune 7 Tries and watch the music video it's a great video and a great tune and uh, Zodiac a good good release I've been listening to it all weekend so hey thanks Michaela for being on the show again we really appreciate it Thank you. One more thing before I let you go. Where's the best place for people to go to find all your music and the stuff you want them to see? Um, Amazon Music. You have Google. We're kind of everywhere. iTunes, um, Spotify, whatever you guys prefer, we're there. All right, Michaela. Hey, thanks a lot for being here, and uh, good luck with the rest of the tour with Theory. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Take care.